Hi guys! For this video, I'll be showing an overview of the accounting system using Meatboss Back Office. First is the POS Sales Transaction, second is Purchase, third is Expense, and lastly, Reports where you can see the Loss and Profit Statements. As you can see here in our Back Office Bank Accounts, we have two account names. First is the BDO Current Account or the Company Bank Account, and next is the Cash on Hand. From the word itself, this is the cash that we have on hand. These accounts are manageable, you can create your own account destination. So the first thing I'm going to show you is the POS sales transaction. So first, look up the item, for example, item A. Select and let's say for this item, we need 100 quantity. So the total is going to be 4,600. Proceed to tender. Input the customer's payment amount. And double click tender sales. Now that we're done with the sales transaction, we can go back to back office. Just click refresh. And now you can see here, 4,600 for this month money. This is the cash that we have on hand. Now the next thing that I'm going to show you is purchase. Just click purchase. So here in purchase, your inventory will increase and it is payable. So for example, Let's say you're going to order stocks from your supplier. Just click direct invoice. Direct invoice is an account payable. So input here all the information and details needed for direct invoice. For example, supplier A. Don't forget the supplier's reference. Item code. Let's say item A. And the quantity. Let's say 50, input the price before tax, let's say 40, and add item. Don't forget to click process invoice. Now that we're done with direct purchase invoice, you can go back to purchase and click payment to suppliers. So this is the direct invoice that we did. So input here the allocation. So let's say we're going to input half the total amount, 1,000 amount of payment and memo. So it's important to input here the memo because you need to indicate the date of transaction, coverage, and notes. So for example, March 18 payment to supplier. And then enter payment. Now the payment has been successfully entered. We can go back to banking. And you'll see here for this month's cash on hand, it is now reduced. It's only 3,600. You can also go back to home and scroll down. And you will see the purchases accumulated per month. Now let's proceed to our next objective, the expense. Just click banking and then click journal entry. And let's say for our expense transaction is our electric bill. So you will select here in the charts of account, the account description for electric bill. This dimension one and dimension two is only applicable if you have multiple locations. For debit, 1000. And then add item. Next for money, cash on hand. And 1000 for the payment. Add item. And then input memo. It is important to input a memo because you need to indicate the date of transaction and the coverage. And then process journal entry. Now we can go back to banking.
and you will see that our cash on hand money have been reduced and you will see here our expense for this month, March. And lastly, reports. The good thing about accounting system is you can see the loss and profit statement. Just click reports and then click general ledger. Profit and loss statement display. So you will see here the revenue. It is already less back. The expense and the calculated return. And that's it for this video. If you have further questions or concerns, you can message us on Facebook or call us on your company number. Now, if you want to boost your business, she's with us.